Hello there. I'm Dr. Purnindu Roy and today I'm here again to talk about a life-saving procedure called Heimlich's maneuver when a person is choking. I was operating in Genesis Hospital and then suddenly I get a phone call from my cousin sister in Bangalore and she said very emotionally, "Upu, I really do not know how to thank you." Today my little daughter Neha is alive only because of you and I was taken aback. I mean how is it that I am operating in Calcutta in Genesis and my cousin from Bangalore is saying that her little daughter is alive because of me and then she elaborated that they had gone for a family dinner and little Neha choked with a chicken bone in her throat and slowly started becoming nearly breathless with cough and then suddenly she said upuda remember in one beer buddy you had taught us that if a person is choking what is the emergency maneuver and it's called himlix maneuver and then i did that and then a little chicken bone came out from neha's throat and then she started breathing so i immediately felt that why my little cousin sister should be one person to know about this i had told her that we should spread it around so today i'm going to demonstrate what is hemlix maneuver and you should also share this with all your friends and if you like it please subscribe to this channel we'll keep teaching you all different types of life saving important methods <coughs> Now many of us have been in situations like this when we see somebody is choking this is just to let you know that 4800 people die of choking like this every year and it's the fourth highest cause of death among children below 4 years and this is the reason why everybody should be aware of this what we are trying to say if a person is able to talk if a person is able to cough don't intervene let them cough it out but when you see a person is coughing and not able to breathe and choking like <coughs> and then the breathing has stopped that's the time it is necessary to start the action which is called heimlich's maneuver when you reach a situation when the person is choking and not able to breathe make the person stand up like this go and put your left hand like a fist in the upper part of the abdomen with the right hand hold the fist over there and give a tight inward and outward jerk like this and keep doing this till the person takes out all the amount from inside the mouth and it comes out and the person starts breathing again this is all okay when you are there and someone is choking so you know how to do heimlich's maneuver and you can perform and save the person's life but what if the person is on his own and no one else is there to do the heimlich's maneuver in that case he or she has to do it himself he lifts himself up goes against the edge of the table or the chair presses the upper abdomen against the table and gives the jerk gives the jerk himself so that this abdominal pressure can cause the obstructing material to come out and he or she can start breathing again now what if this is in a baby who is choking then you take the baby and put her on face down and support the head like this put your right hand and pat at the back about 4 to 5 times with his or her face down if thus this doesn't bring the material out turn the baby on your left palm and use the thumb or the fingers to give compression on the upper part of the abdomen like this so that the obstructing lesion can come out there are some myths which we are not supposed to do don't do these things we have a tendency to assess that someone is thinking about you that's why you are choking sometimes we do shot shot and then sometimes we pat at the back like this none of these things are going to help when a person is choking so don't do these things 
what is important is to perform the Heimlich's maneuver. And if the Heimlich's maneuver is not helping and the, still the person is breathless, put the person onto the floor and then start, if necessary, the CPR, that is cardiopulmonary resuscitations. Check the mouth if you can take out any obstructing things from the oral cavity and put the person onto the left lateral position so that the person, in case if you vomit, doesn't choke on the floor. So just watching this video and knowing how to perform Heimlich's maneuver is not good enough. Share this, tell everybody, show it to your friends, subscribe to this channel. What I want is there should not be a single person left behind who is not aware of how to save a life by doing a Heimlich's maneuver on a patient who is choking.